Let's go back to where it all started. You were born Patricia Gloria Goddard mm. in Hackney in 1957. Your mum, Agnes, had come over from Dominica in the Caribbean and trained Amazing. as a nurse. You went through a pretty hellish time. You know, being called golly, golly walk. And the N-word all the time. And the N-word all the time. All the time. And running the kind of the gauntlet at school. And... I got really good at, at my primary school. Going in the loo, what you do, you get toilet paper and you stuff it in your mouth so they don't hear you crying. Because if they hear you crying while they're chanting the N-word outside, mm. then you'll get it worse. I mean, this is really tough for any young girl, wasn't it? I remember the worst time was in the can canteen and um, I, a boy... You know, we used to get our meals on a tray and a boy went like that with his fists, so all the food flew off the tray and everybody laughed and I was so embarrassed and I picked up everything and I did the you know, Oliver Twist thing and I went back to the dinner lady and I said, excuse me, you know, and she said, you've had... And I, everyone was laughing, so I got up, I ran out and I sat on a step and I was crying and crying, I must have been nine or ten, crying and crying and I can see this teacher now Blonde hair, goofy teeth. He sat down next to me and he said, You've got to understand, you've got to toughen up. You've got to toughen up. We people in this country, we don't want people like you here. So if you're going to stay here, you're going to have to toughen up. Wow. I was nine years old and my teacher, who watched me get hit, was telling me this was my life. I thought I'd failed. I thought I wasn't being English enough. You know, and I remember that distinct moment because I thought, no one's going to look out for you for the rest. You are in charge of you. I never told my parents because I thought I would be letting mum down. This sounds horrific, especially given your age. Did it, in a way, toughen you up? No, did, did it make you more determined to succeed? Mum instilled in me I was an ambassador. <laughs> So I was going to... I just wanted to do what I wanted to do the best way I could. Unfortunately, you, you carried on being the victim of varying types of racism, even where perhaps it wasn't intended. Notoriously, one of the characters on Beau Selector, the Channel 4 show created by Lee Francis, between 2002 and 2009, it's kind of staggering to me to watch that. That that happened in the 2000s, not the 50s. What, what did it make you feel like when you first saw this? Um, I couldn't watch it. And you're told you, you haven't got a sense of humour. Um, but... Uh, and I know my... I, I've only discovered recently that my kids got bullied for it, really bullied for it. In what way? I mean, I still don't know the extent of it, but I know people would say rice and peas, rice and peas, and, you know, and do the, the all the exaggerated... It's the face. I mean, I can take somebody... Somewhat... Billy's here. Yeah, well, she cut... You can probably tell us better than your mum, but what was it like for you? Yeah, it was all sorts of... Like, rubber lips was a big one that, that came off that. Um, kids would shout at me at school and do Jamaican accents and come up to me in my face and, and you know, do Jamaican accents. And, you know, mum has the most British accent I think mm. anyone's ever heard. So it, it was shocking and it was full on and it was relentless. And, you know, we'd even go to the teachers and say, you know, I'm being bullied and the teachers would laugh and say, well, it's on TV, sort of get a sense of humour. I don't think people realised how racist it was and how much casual racism it emboldened. I mean, I think people will be shocked to see that footage now. He put a, an Instagram post up in which he apologised. Uh, back in 2002, I did a show called Bo Selector. I portrayed um, many black people uh, back then. I didn't think anything about it. Um, people didn't say anything. And I'm not going to blame other people. Um, I'll just keep it on. Well, um, I've been talking to some people and I didn't realise how offensive it was back then. And I just want to apologise. Um, you know, I just want to say sorry for any upset I caused. Um, whether I was Michael Jackson, Craig David, Trisha Goddard, all, all people that I'm a big fan of. And um, I guess we're all on a learning journey. I mean, he sounds very sincere there. Did you accept it in the spirit of that yeah, message? Yeah, yeah. And we message each other privately. Um, absolutely. This Instagram post appeared in the papers. It gets on TV. People are talking about it. And unbelievably, this then sparks even more abuse to you than you probably had the first time round when all this was there? Way more. 
the nastiest, most evil stuff. Because now there's social media. Yeah. The fact you then get abused. I got abused, and I'm sure... You're the problem. And Lee got called, you know, grow some, grow a pair as well. Um, for yeah, apologising. For apologising. When you see what crawls out of the woodwork, yeah. this country does have a problem. I mean, I don't think Britain is a racist country. No, I don't But think I think it, it harbours a number of racist people. And it does bring them out. And they show themselves for what they are. You know, frankly, if they have a problem with your distress over that, they're the problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Tricia, let's take a look at how your high-flying career began.